um, which is kind of interesting. Um, VS Code tooling. What's the question there? Um, so it's not really a question. We just to go going over it. <laughs> so you mentioned like so it was specifically about like a package. I don't know if it's a package. Something you showed me. I forget what the person's name is. Turag. 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 Um. So is is there some sort of public uh via just because sometimes I run into errors with uh, VS Code. Oh, maybe I'm maybe I know what you're talking about. Uh, just for reference, that's Taraj. Uh, right, there is a thing. Uh, I think it was when we were doing the snippets you showed me. Yeah, there's a script configure VS Code, which indeed was created by Taraj. And you run that, and then all of a sudden VS Code turns wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I barely understand what it does. <laughs> uh, I, could, could you more define wonderful? Like, what is it? Oh, um, in particular, it, it automatically formats on save. So you write garbage JavaScript and hit save, and it turns it into wonderful JavaScript. So I you see. Just, okay. Right, so you're right. And then you hit save and it doesn't oh. work. Okay, broken appliance. So. I think that's not, is that gonna work? Oh, have I got a syntax error? Yeah, right. I think you said next to the problem. Yeah, so you have to, it'll only do its magic if you don't have syntax errors, okay. Um, okay, and then I guess at the top of the file, uh, well, not so sometimes. Can you explain the difference between uh, like the Jesse check and then the TS check? Yep. Um, uh, hold on, let me. Um, PSM tool is it a sort of place with not very many other things. So if I'm making a new file, um, and I do Jesse check, if I say class X, I'll get a red squiggly and it'll say, class is not allowed in Jesse, user maker. All right, so this is doing uh, checks for, where Jesse, um, that's interesting. I think this is the, I think it links to Jesse, yeah. Yeah, so Jesse is this recommended subset of JavaScript for stuff. And so uh, class syntax is outside it and this and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's a, it's some it's some ESLint rules that we've done that are approximately Jesse. Um, and then okay. TS check is TypeScript. So that allows you to say const x equals one and then not should give me, oh. <laughs> All right, so I guess now when we're writing smart contracts, uh, like you see TS check at the type of a lot of the files. Uh -huh. are, we, are we writing Jesse though? So does that mean it would be preferred to have the Jesse check at the top of the file? You can have both. Okay. I guess I haven't seen Jesse check too much in the Agoric SDK code. Um, well, it's newish. Um, we apply it mostly in the interprotocol smart contracts. But like okay, a lot cool. of the kernel stuff, there's it's you know it predated Jesse and and converting it wasn't um, and yeah and the kernel stuff is not smart contracts it's kind of like anyway we don't use uh, Jesse in the kernel very much. 
Okay, cool. Thank you for that.